Whoa! Super breaking news. An arrest has been made in the Idaho murders, finally. Holy shit. Everybody's commenting. We don't know who it is, so please, nobody, you know, say that, oh, uh, I'm wrong or whatever. Nobody knows who it is yet. There's supposed to be a press conference in about an hour. I'm going to do an, another video as soon as as we know who got arrested. This is going to be great. So make sure you freaking watch this video af after the press conference. Oh my God. I can't wait to see what what this is gonna who's arrested and you know and the details the police give holy crap but watch this video so you you can believe me like and subscribe it's a good day today guys but obviously uh, a tremendous relief uh particularly at this time of year and after what these families the chapin mogan Kernodal, and gone calls families have been through uh to now have a uh, an arrest in this case um it is our understanding as police have been briefing on this investigation over the past several weeks um that uh, the fbi was involved they said that they were helping them out and is our understanding real quick so they said it's a male so it couldn't have been that professor that I just talked about in my last video, so, uh, but, yeah, anything could change, so we'll see, but, oh, holy shit, we, we've been covering this since the beginning, and all of you have been, uh, you know, sticking with me, um, I'm excited, I'm sure you are, let's see what else that the FBI uh, was involved in some way in the arrest this morning in taking the person into custody. It's unclear. So the FBI was involved. They, they did most of the work, probably. clear whether there'll be federal charges or state charges. I did talk to the uh, Moscow, Idaho Police Department while we were in just a <laughs> commercial break. Uh, they're not yet confirming any details on it, but did uh, point us to this press conference that's being held at 4 p.m. today, as you referenced. So oh, it's at 4 p.m., not 1 p.m. But as soon as I, as soon as that press conference is over, I'm going to be making a video on it. So make sure you guys come back and see that. It's going to be a good one. Presumably we'll get more details then. Presumably we'll get more details on any potential charges. And obviously oh, they better not leave us hanging. I, they better, at, least tell, at least tell us who it is. And at, at the very minimum, I mean, I, I need to know for real. So we're continuing to report this out. Um, our first lead on this came from veteran crime reporter Deanna Durante at our station in Philadelphia, WCAU, and uh, myself. This literally just broke as soon as I just, you know, made that my last video. This, li like, not even a half hour, 40 minutes ago, it just broke. Along with Jonathan Deanst, uh, working on the details here and confirming this arrest. But as far as the specifics, how they were able to uh, get onto this individual, and if in fact this individual is responsible solely uh, for the homicides, those are all details that are going to come, I think, into more focus here in the coming uh, uh, coming couple hours. Yeah, and Tom, I, I know you don't want to speculate, but just the fact that the arrest was made in Pennsylvania, thousands of miles away from Idaho, that in itself it, it, it at least gives us a little bit of insight as just to how vast this investigation must have been. Correct. And so, you know, was it uh, was it a sort of uh, information where uh, obviously police have been uh, asking for, uh, urging for any sort of tips or information from the public that they get? Yeah, so he's all he's this guy's all the way in Pennsylvania. That's a long way from Idaho, guys. Jesus Christ, my heart is pounding. I'm so happy for the families. I'm happy. Just a good day, man. Get a tip off to this individual. Was there uh, travel uh, involving this individual? To your point, the fact that this arrest was made in in uh, the northeastern part of Pennsylvania. So, uh, was there any sort of a the northeast? So he was he was probably trying to book it as far away as possible. And if anybody helped this guy, was harboring him or helped him escape, 
I hope they go to jail for a long time as well. Uh, uh, you know, we know obviously in this day and age, it's tough to make it across the country without. But thank you for all of my subscribers for uh, letting me know immediately. I really appreciate you. Shout out to Richard, Lisa, all you guys. Great job. Being picked up on some sort of license plate reader, uh, toll booths, etc. Was there information on travel that helped uh, lead uh, to this person, or was it something that we haven't mentioned and haven't even thought of yet? Yeah, if you go that far, you're go you're gonna have to go. Especially in Pennsylvania, I live in Maryland, so I know you have to get on a t the turnpike some at some point. There's gonna be a lot of cameras, you know. Especially if he if he was driving a white Hyundai, you know. They, they had they had to have gotten a tag number who knows but we'll see at four o'clock and you can tell by my voice that i'm really excited this is great those are all details that'll come out obviously at the press conference and then the court paperwork uh, when we get the when we get it excuse me and hopefully that'll be soon all right guys four o'clock p.m after the press conference, I'm making a video. Make sure you come back. Hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as it's up. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's a great day. True Crime King, out.